So if you travel with your dog full time, one tip would be to make sure you have all of their documents printed out. I keep them in a folder with the dates of all of their vaccines and all that type of stuff done on a little uh, label maker. Yes, label maker. Um, just so I know that when they need to get their shots and all that type of stuff. Now, if you aren't traveling full time, you probably don't need to worry about that because you will have, have because you have one vet that you go to, but when you travel full time, you see lots of vets. And so they are not keeping the records for you. You have to keep them yourself. So another tip would be to make sure you have bags, lots and lots of bags. When your dogs go to the bathroom at a campsite, you for sure need to pick up after them. I know a lot of people that have, you know, large properties or they live in rural areas. You don't necessarily need to pick up after your pets, but when you're camping, you definitely do. <laughs> A rule that your campground is probably going to let you know when you arrive is that your dogs must be on a leash. If you're going to go out hiking or to explore the area, it's a really good idea to make sure that you know what the temperature is going to be so that your dogs are going to be comfortable in your RV while you're gone. A huge plus to RVing over going to a timeshare or a hotel is that a lot of those places don't allow pets and if they do, there's usually a fee associated with it. So if you're in your RV, it's your house. You can do whatever you want.